the destination filter. Very valuable tool. Lyft is making three changes to their destination filter feature on their app. In this video, I break down those changes and how it's going to affect the driver. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to give it either a thumbs up or a thumbs down as to how it affects the driver. Are there benefits for the driver or not? Hey everybody, it is Jay Creator with The Rideshare Guy, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Lyft destination filter. When I started driving three and a half years ago, we did not have a destination filter. And for example, if I wanted to get home and I was a half an hour away from home, I just had to deadhead it, right? I didn't have this wonderful tool that allowed me to pick a destination and then only get rides going in that, in that direction. So let's start off with, how does the destination filter work? So a destination filter is a feature that both Lyft and Uber offer. And it lets you pick a point and you will only get rides that go in that direction, that move you at least a foot or two closer uh, to, to that destination. So as we look at the screenshot here, you can see how it's set up. So what you do is you start by clicking that little, uh, it's like three lines up in the right and that opens up the second screen, and you can see how many filters you have remaining. Lyft currently offers six, so at the time I made the screenshot, I had five left, and you hit next, and then you pick uh, your destination. You can either type in a new destination, you can hit click on home or work, and then it also shows you uh, some other destinations you used in the past. I frequently use the Fisherman's Wharf and the Cliff House, so those are two uh, listed there. So it's, uh, it's a great uh, uh, simple to use device. So when do you use a destination filter? Well, there's three times, three instances where I use it the most. The first is in the morning. I drive in the morning, I start at 5 a.m. and if I find myself in San Francisco, I will use it to get rides to the airport. So I'll use that destination filter and get rides to the airport when there's no traffic. So that's one time. On the weekends, um, I want long rides because there's no traffic. So I'll be in San Francisco and I'll set the destination filter all the way down to the San Jose airport. And then I'll get rides to take me down that way. And once I'm down there, then I'll use the destination filter to get back. That's when I would set the destination to the Fisherman's Wharf, which is the far end of San Francisco. The other time I use it is at the end of a shift or that when I'm ready to take a break, I'll use it to get closer to where I want to end up. Um, so that I can still make some money while I'm heading, uh, say I'm heading home at the end of the day. So there are three new features that Lyft has announced recently. So these changes I'm going to show you are not affecting everybody. They're being tried and tested by Lyft in a few select markets like Los Angeles and San Francisco, and only some drivers in those markets are getting these changes. They are first... <laughs> first, they're making the... Uh, Lift destination filter 20% better. It means you're 20% more likely to get a ride. So what exactly does that mean? Well, if, if out of 100 times you use the destination filter, 10 of those times, so one out of 10 times it works for you, that means instead of 10 times, it'll work 12 times out of 100. That's 20% better. Or if you use uh, out of 100, you get 50. Let's say one out of every two times you use the lift a destination filter, you get a ride. Well, then it's gonna be six, six out of 10. So it, it all varies depending on how effective it is in your market. Um, it's not super effective here in San Francisco. I would say it's maybe one out of four. So it's gonna be a, a little bit of an improvement there. Um, the second thing is they're adding a time element. So let's say you wanted to get to home within an hour. You can set the time that you gotta get back to home to an hour. And then you're only gonna get rides that are gonna get you uh, logistically close enough so that you can make your, your time deadline. I would never use this feature uh, at all. The worst change is the third change. They give you six uses. Um, now they're cutting it down to two. Now, Lyft says very few people use more than two. Well, I'm one of those people that on a weekend, I will use six. Uh, I will use it to go, like I said, to make long rides um, down to San Jose and back. Or if I get stuck in Oakland, I use it to get back to San Francisco. So for me, this is a, a devastating uh, development that they're going from six all the way down to two. 
but that is what Lyft does. They follow Uber's lead. Uber offered six about, I don't know, maybe a year or two ago, and then they quickly went down to two. Um, Lyft, for like the last year or so, has given us six, which has been great. One of the big benefits of being a Lyft driver, and now they're cutting it down to two. If nobody's using more than two, why change it, Lyft? What, why would you change it if that's the case? If no one's actually using all six? It doesn't make any sense. I don't, I, I don't, I don't get it. So let's do a, a quick comparison of Lyft versus Uber. So in my market, Uber's uh, destination filter is far more effective. I mean, I can, I can experience that when I use the Uber destination filter, I almost always get a ride. With Lyft, it's like maybe, like I said, one out of four. So in that regard, Uber is superior. Uber is not always available though. Um, Uber has this feature where uh, if it's crowded or it's a busy time of the day or who knows, I've had it at five in the morning where I must be the only driver where I can't use the destination filter. So that's a negative um, for, for the Uber um, destination filter. Now they both have two, two uses. Um, with Uber though, um, if you set the destination filter and you don't get a ride, that doesn't count against you. With Lyft, if you use it, even if you don't get a ride, it counts as a use. So that's a negative for Lyft. So overall, I would have to say Uber's uh, destination filter is king by far. I wish they wouldn't deactivate it though so often. That's kind of a drag. I mean, really, five in the morning, I'm, I'm like the only guy out there driving and I can't use the destination filter. Why is that, Uber? So keep And check it out. I happen to be one of the lucky ones who are testing this out in San Francisco. So you can see you're just gonna get a notification and uh, in the second screenshot, destination mode twice per day, then you can set your arrival and it's 20% more effective. How did I get to be so lucky, Lyft? I used to have six, now I'm back down to two. So key takeaways, tone deaf uh, Lyft, really. You had a nice benefit with the six versus the two, six uses versus Uber's two uses. You're saying you're making it a little bit better. That doesn't really compensate for cutting it from six down to two. So I don't think this is good for drivers at all. It's just another form of takeaway that uh, Lyft is playing with us. And they're just following Uber's lead. It would be nice for Lyft to, you know, kind of do something on their own and not always be following what, what Uber does. Um, I would like to see more of that. I will still do most of my driving for Lyft uh, simply because I enjoy the passengers more and um, I like the bonus a little bit better. Um, but things like this have me more comfortable now driving a little bit more like 50-50 Uber and Lyft. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found this information valuable. Uh, if you have not joined our YouTube channel, join. Uh, we provide a lot of great information, three, four, five videos a week. And if you're in the rideshare industry, you're a driver, you want to stay up to date, this is the place to be. We'd love to have you as part of the team. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. This is Jay Creator with the Rideshare Guy. Be safe out there.